For BMW model code F and later, the vehicle is equipped with intelligent battery sensor. BMW designed the charging system with an algorithm that varies the rate of charge as the battery age and type of the battery installed. Registering a new battery resets the algorithm back to its optimal charging voltage for the newly installed battery. In our case, we use the VGate OBD2 Wi-Fi adapter for our Bimmer code and Bimmer Link apps. You can use any adapter that's compatible with the apps. Firstly, plug in the OBD2 adapter into the vehicle OBD2 port. Next, turn on the vehicle accessories mode without starting the engine by pressing the start button once. Then, go to your phone Wi-Fi setting and select V-Link option. It has no password. Next, launch the Bimmer code apps and select the correct adapter in our case is the V-Gate Wi-Fi. Click on the connect option to connect the apps to the vehicle ECU and select your respective vehicle model. The apps will begin to read all the data settings on the car computer. You need to perform this step to configure your battery capacity and type setting if the new replacement battery is not identical to the old battery in terms of capacity and type. You can also use Bimmer code apps to check or verify the previous settings configured in the vehicle is correct. Select the car access system. All the respective functions and settings on the car computer will be retrieved and it will take a while. Scroll to battery section and select the battery type to configure the new battery capacity and type. Press on code button to save new setting. Next. Launch the Bimmer Link apps to reset the battery charging adaptation by registering the new battery. Select the respective adapter used in our case as the VGate Wi-Fi under the adapter setting. Next, click on the connect button to download the car computer setting. Select the 12V battery option. You will notice that my new battery has only 76% state of charge inherited from the old battery. Click on register new battery button and select same capacity and type option to proceed. Verify the preconditions indicated on the screen before clicking on the register new battery button one more time. Once you see the message showing the battery registered successfully and it's done.